This week on the Wheel of Yu-Gi-Oh, we're doing a deception game. I'm gonna be spinning the wheel, but I might lie to Mario about what I spun. Now, he gets to choose if he wants to take what I've just spun and use it as his own deck, or spin for himself. And then when he spins for itself, I can choose to take it if, you know, he didn't take mine. And so, it'll be fun. Um, I might not lie to you. I might just be completely honest to you, Mario, to make you look like a fool. And with you, it could be either or. I can't tell anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to spin the wheel, and I will tell you, wink, wink, what I got. So, um, I got my first spin. And my second uh, spin. Okay. Okay. So, All right. <gasps> Mario. I recently have developed a really scary combination of decks. Um, it was a video that we did for a wheel. It was the Fiend and Dinosaur mix, which, as you remember, was a little bit devastating, and I just spun it again. Ooh, okay, Do okay. Me? Would you like to take this? Do I have to give you what I spun? No. You just get to choose to take... Either the blatant lie that I've just served you up um, could be fish plants um, or could be dinosaur fiend or could be a mix of some. Do so you want to take this uh, want to take this deck or not? You can steal it, take it for yourself or leave me with it and hope that I was lying. I spun one of I think I think I'm going to say no deal. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. So I have my... Spin whatever you're playing with. I do not care. All right. I already spun mine. Okay. What'd you so, get? So... I mean, you can just tell me honestly. I ain't, I ain't stealing. You ain't stealing? Oh, you can... I got Psychic Warriors. Take it. Take it. I don't care. What did you spin? I spun Fiend Dinosaur, man. I ain't lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is going to be rough. Did me. you actually get the uh, Psychic Warriors? Yes, I did. Not the worst. Still pretty good. Actually, really good. Um, this is going to be a good matchup, actually. Because, you know, Cash Tira exists. So, plain and simple. Cash There's some Psychic to be done in there. And you know Warriors better than I do. So, yeah. it's, we're both going to make some really fierce decks here. I think this is and this And this time, I'm not mixing Warriors into an, a three archetype style deck. True, so it's going to be even better. And Cash Deer mixed into any number of stuff is already good as it is. So I think we're going to see some really fearsome decks. You know, I'm very excited that I get to play with a Dinosaur Fiend variant again. However, you get to play with an equally strong deck. Uh, I didn't steal because I sure as anything aren't giving you this. And if you were lying, I would have been made the fool. So, that's the game. Just turned out to be us spinning and agreeing to run with what we had. But man, it, it was... It was fun. We'll see you in the match. If you if you want us to do this again, let us know. Or if you have any ideas to mix up this style of idea, let it's, us know as well. Yeah, because, man, it's fun pretending to lie to each other. But we're just so honest. We're honest people, Mario. <laughs> and now I'm honestly going to crush you. Get ready. Here we are, ready to duel with two probably really good wheel decks, actually. Psychic Warrior versus Dino Fiend. Now, I thought this Dino Fiend combo was pretty sick before, but that was in the context of, like, wheel videos. Considering context of just good decks, I feel like Warrior Psychic might be crazy. Oh, yeah, no. I found a good mix, and it's actually using two archetypes that, at one point, were really dominant in the archetype, so... Okay, good. I was afraid of it just being a Kashdira hero mix, but, you know? <laughs> no, 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 no. So, I actually did look into that for a moment, but there mm -hmm. was like, I needed like more of one side than the other. And that's not how- You need a good chunk of heroes to make that work for sure. Yeah. Yeah, so with this, I have a, I wanted to include more dinosaurs, but you know, I split it dead down the middle, 11 fiends, 11 dinosaurs. Did you split yours and your extra deck perfectly down the middle? Actually, yeah. 
<laughs> well, uh, uh, the extra deck has four middles you can go because it's like 15, not an exactly even number. Yeah, I, w I was I was totally trying to set you in. I was laying out a trap for you, um, trying to make you promise me that your extra deck is split neatly in half. Notice I have 14 just to set up that, but nobody cares. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But there we go. Ooh. We have some Pendulum, Ignite Reload. Ooh, okay. Metal Foes. I remember you used to like them back in the day. So let's see how you can do with them. Well, unfortunately, there's one downside. I uh, I drew I drew all the field spells in one hand. Ooh, Ignite and Metal Foes. That makes sense. But yeah, that's bad hands can happen in this. I had to like make sure um, with the Ubel stuff I have in my Fiend deck. That you I only had like one copy of each of the support cards. Xylo. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about my hand. Because all I have are two more field spells in a hand. <laughs> well, let's see if I can make anything happen here. Because I have a lot of great support. But uh, can I make this work? We're going to destroy one copy of Ubel. And add to my hand. Oh my god, I just realized. So with Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, when you sacrifice a card in a hand or something. You can just immediately just use a Ubel card, can't you? Yeah. Oh my. Um, it might have to be a dinosaur, but either way, both sides of this deck, dinosaur, classic, um, you know, soul eating and all that dinosaur with Ubel, both love destruction. Baby Sarasaurus destroyed by a Ubel card, fantastic. Using a ground Zeno to destroy Ubel, fantastic. It's all good here. So, I guess adding to my hand, since I have these things, I'm just going to grab a... Let's just do Mature Chronicle. Let's try to get the full U-Bell setup going, because we kind of can. So, we'll do that, and, well, since a monster was destroyed, why not? We'll summon Xeno Meteoros, an addition that was not in my uh, previous wheel of this type of deck, because a lot of dinosaurs just wouldn't fit. Um, but there we go. We now have the Mature Chronicle. Not going to be as crazy when I can't spam summon new bells Full disclosure, only one copy of Terra Incarnate in the deck, because got to make room. Uh, but other than that, things are looking pretty swell. Um, I'm I, guessing also one only one copy of the final form too, because it wouldn't make sense otherwise. Uh, yeah, I actually don't know if I have a copy of the final form. Um, but yeah, not a lot I can do here. Didn't have any extra dinosaurs to destroy with Meteoros, so we just got a Frostosaurus out here for damage. So, how do you plan on not like having your whole field get wiped by the end, by the end turn by you build Terran Carnet? Well, I don't have anything that really um, is worth holding on to necessarily at the moment. You know, it's just a Frostosaurus. But, you know, later it can come into play. The two sides don't always play nice together. But say I ended the turn with a baby Sarasaurus on the field, you know? Then Terra Incarnate is going to benefit it greatly. And say I needed to use my dinosaur stuff to destroy you, Bell in the hand. Same concept. Well. All right, so. Good stuff. You got your, uh... <laughs> Oh, I know. A seven scale setup and two field cards in your hand. Uh, oh, I know. But this is actually a good thing. Because what okay. I can do is I can activate the effect of Ignites. If you have an Ignite card in your other Pendulum Zone, you can destroy both cards in your Pendulum Zone and add one Fire Warrior from your deck to your hand. Okay. Let's see these combos begin. So using this, I can add any Fire Warrior I want to the hand. Now, all the Ignite cards have the same Pendulum effect. Yes, pendulums very commonly have that kind of thing to help support each other. But it also pairs up with Metal Foes because Metal Foes has a special little trap card called Metal Foes Counter. The when, classic. When a, when a card you control is destroyed by battle card effect, doesn't matter if it was by my own effect or by their effect. Yeah, I'm going to be I'm gonna be destroying your cards by card effect as well, so it's a good choice against me. Yeah. I can special summon one Metal Foes card from my deck. Mm-hmm. So let's see. I will add. Okay, so I just added the level, the two to the hand. So I should probably. Oh no, it's any of them to straight to the field. Oh baby. Yep. Add face up metal foes monster uh, from the extra deck to hand as well. Nice. Oh, once you banish that from the graveyard, I skipped ahead. But yeah, special summon a metal foes to the field. Nice. A lot so of the you, know you got a monster search to your hand. You can put something on the field. Doesn't necessarily mean you're setting up your pendulum scales. But it's no. A good start. Yeah, that's a good start. I'm gonna select the card to banish. Let's banish your Terra Incarnate. Let's fuse. Should have picked a Ubel in the, in the graveyard. <laughs> Actually, unfortunately, I couldn't fuse in that moment. Big shame. Oh, okay. 
the... All right, so I need to control a regular U-Bell while I had Terra Incarnate in that situation. But I have a regular U-Bell now. That's not bad. Okay, let's see. All right, then I'm going to place my Ignite Crusader right here. Okay. Unfortunately, I was kind of hoping to clear out your field and have a direct attack. Because, yeah, I can't exactly just run into your monster. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait. keep up the Ubel shenanigans forever, but... Oh, wait, no. I'm going to take 3,200 of face, actually. Yep, I do have Nightmare Pain here, so big damage if you swing into me. I have to. It forces me to attack, remember? That's right. Nightmare Pain is fantastic. So. Oh, that's right. I take double. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but All the setups out here. But you see what I mean about how the two really work well together? No, it makes sense. I do think they're both kind of a step down, like, tier level from the decks I'm running, or the deck I'm running. But it makes a lot of sense together. So I imagine the synergy is there if you get the right hand. Oh, yeah. Uh, but if, I don't, if I don't start off with three field cards in a hand. Yes. Okay, and this time so. I only started off with two field cards, and I only added four field cards in general. Why am I getting all of them in the hand? I have one field card. Here it is. And we'll use that. Now, At I least not have a Samsara D Lotus in my hand. So I'm surprised you're not running Lost World. I'm not, because realistically I could have, because you know the dinosaur number doesn't count against it. It's just, it's going to hurt all my guys as well, and half of my deck is fiends. Yes, okay, maybe it would have been a good idea, because none of my monsters attack really even matters. But still, I have a lot of cards in here, a lot of good cards that are important to the thing, and Lost World doesn't necessarily add to the destruction side of things, more just protection from destruction. So, we are going to add to my hand, I think, yeah, since I have a Geist Grinder Golem, that'll be useful if I have a Ubel in hand for later. And we can now use our Fossil Dig to add something else to hand. This'll be fun. Now, yeah, let's just put both our boss monsters on the field this turn. That sounds fun, right? We will be able to do it, so activate Miscellaneous Source. We all know this combo. He's going to go ahead and get me out of Arcasaur. Now, I do not have one of the baby Sarasauruses in hand, so we're not doing this to maximum benefit. Uh, but turn one. I don't need a Kaiju on turn one. That's perfectly fine. We are going to... I realize I don't have a spare non-dinosaur to go into with Double Evolution Pill just yet. So maybe we'll save that for a later play. And we'll just normal some Samsara D Lotus here. Activate its effect. Send that away to... Oh, yeah. Spirit of You Bell is going to do the trick for me. So... Everything will be fine, actually. We'll do that. We have to grab that Nightmare Pain. You know it's a great card. And Nightmare Pain will then destroy... Spirit of Ubel, allowing me to add Eternal Favorite. And Spirit of Ubel goes off. Also, Nightmare Throne, which I always forget. I need to remember that if I'm... To potential... Oh, I guess... I guess I couldn't see it fully coming. I, I, I was fully thinking that I was going to banish your field. So, putting myself in attack uh, mode. <laughs> I'm thinking gotcha. I should got to remember defense mode more often. But then I was like, nah, I probably would have still done it because I figured I was clearing your field. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Uh, yeah, let's go all the way. Just for funsies. So, we are going to get rid of the spirit of Yubel from the graveyard and the Dogrin. <laughs> Only targets I can. So, we now have a uh, ultimate okay. conductor Tyranno and Yubel on the field. I do know that the Metal Foes is Im the Metal Foes side is immune to your thing because of the right. whole field spell. They're unaffected. As long as they're normal monsters, they're unaffected by your effects. Good. That'll help you out significantly. Um, I guess with that, I end my turn. So we will now use the Lotus to add it to the field. Special summon. So I have free stuff to get rid of for that. Um, Although your, your uh, Arcasaur was still the same thing as well. <laughs> Yeah, I think I wanted to use my Archosaur. I just mixed up the uh, ordering of the effects. I could have used Ubel to destroy the Archosaur there to tribute it before it went away anyway. Um, but either way, we have the end result we we're looking for. Ubel and Ultimate Conductor on the field. That's what I'm talking All about right. right here. Field card's already here. All right. So I'm going to play my Metal Foe, Steven, or Stellan. All right, Steven, Steven let's go. <laughs> uh, you know what? You're Steven now. You're Steven now. Yep. Welcome to the game, Steven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so and then I'm going to play this right here. Ooh, Luckily, there's not... actually got Pendulum's own setup. Yeah. 
Got the right scales, two to eight. Which I'm going to activate my stealing actually. Mm hmm. By popping the field card. Okay. I can set any Metal Foes uh, oh, spell or trap. Are huge. Yeah. And I am going to. I could put counter down, which yes, might... something better. Potentially, because because I could go for a fusion. Because there is a new because while well, because we forgot about uh, a support that they got last year, which is the new Metal Foes fusion card, which okay. is allows them to fusion summon. Because we know the old field spell, the one that if it's in your graveyard, banish it, get a draw off, right? Oh yeah, people use that in all kinds of decks. Well, there's they added a new fusion card called Parametalfos Fusion, which allows them to fuse not only with their field or graveyard in hand, but also with their extra deck. Ah, uh, so you just need to get them anywhere and to play. Essentially, right. get them into rotation anywhere. Yeah. Very nice. But Let's see what you can do. I don't think that's the best call right now because I don't think I can get anything into the extra deck right now, so I think counter is the best option. Okay. Hmm. In defense mode, just so you can't do any... You can't force me. Yep. Very and good. Then, and then, like I said, I got the... Perfect. Very nice. Okay, so you got a good setup. A weak setup, but a good one to, you know, protect yourself against my obvious threats. Yeah. Defense mode, so you can't force me to attack with Nightmare Pain. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you can just target and get rid of using... Yeah, attack over, yeah, but... Oh, no, I know you're probably going to do your effect, flip them over, and just deal that extra you're thousand. You're unaffected by my card effects. We talked about this. Oh, only Metaphos is... Oh, that's oh, that's an Ignite. Okay. Noted. So, yeah, that's not unlikely to happen. And I'm just going to activate this now because it's going to keep bugging me. Okay. Continuous anyway. Yeah. Okay. I have a plethora of wonderful cards to activate here. So, man, this is brutal. Okay. Eternal favorite is down. We have, just to add to things, a fossil dig. So that sounds fun. Um, now, I can't use my uh, Nightmare Pain to destroy Baby Sarasaurus and all them, unfortunately. So it's not the craziest of combo. Um, but we can just do something very simple, like get ourselves a Soul Litting Over Raptor. That's a good card to have, and that'll add to my hand. We'll grab a Baby Sarasaurus now in case I can find a, a way to destroy it. I think there's a few cards in here that'll make that happen, um, such as Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, to be honest. It's already here. But we are going to give you a nice little Geist Grinder Golem as well by revealing a Ubel in hand. And now you have that to soak up some damage. And on top of that, I could do some more, but I could also wait to do some more. Um, I will use this, activate it to... Will this do more damage? Probably. Um, it'll probably not ideal, though. So, Nightmare Pain. Oh, I can destroy my Soul Eating Over after. I don't think I'd benefit from that, but why not? Let's just test out some more synergy here. Adding to my hand. No more Ubel cards I t technically need, but we'll add a Mature Chronicle. Just to get some benefit out of that. There we go. So just by searching the Soul Eating Over Raptor, I got an extra target for Ultimate Conductor Tyranno and a uh, use for my Nightmare Pain just to search me another card. Nothing wrong with all that, um, but I suppose let's do some damage. So, um, you will not die here, but it will hurt. We're going to hit you with the Geist Grinder. Or hit the Geist Grinder. Get a nice bunch there. We will attack here and activate the effect, do a thousand, and attack into the Geist Grinder, just because, although I don't necessarily have to in this situation, damage is damage. All right, you're down to 3,500. Less resources to be used, but Pendulum Scales are still set up and monster was destroyed. Yep, I am gonna put this right here, and then Vanisher will banish. I guess the biggest threat is probably Ultimate Conductor. Okay. Can't stop that whatsoever. Um, with that, because I know, because I... now they know I can just leave them in defense mode and try to play around the U Bell. 
Mm-hmm. Well, I do have a current issue of not having anything to tribute for you, Bell, as well. So, so you were going to have to rush this. You were probably going to use Ultimate Conductor for that, huh? Um, I would I would have if I had to. But now I have something there. Just because um, we don't too have bad. anything insanely fun to go into. It's too bad, ban it's too bad Spirit of U-Bell doesn't have like a special effect if it was banished by the effect of a U-Bell monster. His effects are good enough, I think. He, you know, you add him, you search, and then he brings out a U-Bell. So I'm happy with how his effects work out. Uh, yeah, one turn there, you get a decent startup. Oh, yeah, Samsara Lotus was... Was it used to turn, or does it just always come back? Either way, here it comes. Special summon. This is why Lotus is probably the best new card in a U-Bell deck. Because it just means we can tribute it for free. Goodbye. All right, you are in some trouble. Am I? I think so, but we'll see. All right, well... See two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay, so this card is level nine. So Thanks. it is out of the range of normal scales, unless I, unless it's a very rare like love like eleven or ten scale. So if I use this guy for that, okay. Yeah, you can't bring Vanisher back with your scales so easily. Well, that's probably meant. That's probably on purpose. Because if you think about it, if I could special summon using the Pendulum's special summon mechanic, this card every turn. My god, people would abuse that, and there'd be so much, like, abuse summon banishing. Other there. Pendulum decks have been fully abused in the past. <laughs> but I think they've gotten to a point where they've been balanced and nerfed to uh, probably a pretty low level, actually. Yeah. Well, I'm going to activate this, which will allow me to send away my... Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, my Ignite... Com my Metaphors combination. Just uh -huh. to add another... Metaphors counter. Yeah, but very useful. Combination also has an effect. When it's destroyed, I can add any Metaphors card from the from the deck to the hand. Okay. And since I have between three and seven right now, I think it's prudent for me to. Ooh, prudent. Let's see if this card is. Destroyed by battle card effect. You can add one face up to your hand. Uh, I'm looking at some of the new para metal foes that was added in. All right. So uh, to see them come out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think I'll add. Yeah. I think I'm gonna add the Melcaster. Okay. Then. Activate my pendulum scales to bring out both that and the ignite monster. Here we go. Alright, this sounds like as good a time to any trigger my eternal favorite. Discarding um, one U Bell card to summon the Loving Defender. Using. Ooh, cannot use your normal monster, but two of them are effect monsters. So here we go! All right, well, that does indeed stink. <laughs> yeah, I just had that sitting there, which I wasn't sure if it was going to work over your um, field card, but apparently it does not. Well, luckily, I do have a workaround. Okay. So, by targeting two cards I control, mm -hmm. like my Templar and my Stellan. Yep, we've seen that before. Special summoning Vanisher. Vanisher allows me to banish another card in the field. Goodbye, Huge. loving defender. Okay. Then, Metaphos counter. I can play the metal the para metaphos fusion. Ooh. As I as I said, I can use I can use monsters in the extra deck for the fusion material. Three of them staring at us right there. Nice. I need to make sure that I can. Uh, uh, let's see, two metaphos cards in your graveyard and one card. Yes. Okay. So this is the one I want. So. Fusing together my Melcaster and my Vanisher. Okay. I bring out the Mithrilium. Activating Mithrilium. By returning two Metal Foes cards from the graveyard, I can return Ow. one card on your field. Back to your hand. Oh, you bell no return. Nice. Well done. I think you might have me. Well, I guess I have plenty of other cards and I have plenty of life points, but uh, I've burnt through a lot of good resources here. 
Oh, well, I forgot dinosaurs are just great too. Let's activate Ground Zeno. There's a reason and this card is $30 for any dinosaur deck. I'm going to destroy that baby Sarasaurus I added to my hand last turn. Special summon this guy. And special summon another baby Sarasaurus. Lovely. Now, um, this I can destroy one dinosaur monster. It has to be darn, so I can't just destroy you, Bell, outright. But let's destroy, how about the dinosaur I just set right there? And look, it's a baby Sarasaurus. How convenient. So I get another lovely dinosaur. We have almost expelled every single dinosaur in a deck. In fact, I think I may have. Because <laughs> they are all searchable, and that's kind of one of the reasons this works out so well. But let's try the grand combo. Um, I am going to use these two to go into the big scary Glaciosaurus. But then we're going to have some fun. We're going to activate Nightmare Pain. Destroying the Ubel in hand. Um, adding to my hand, I don't care. Because they are all, almost all the way through my Ubel cards as well. And then that will allow me to summon this, which unfortunately wasn't my hand, but here we go. We can now do even more. Now we could use our Mature Chronicle just to destroy Petite Tyranodon and get another dinosaur. But as I said, I don't think I have any other dinosaurs. So um, we will instead uh, just attack into you, I think. Uh, may as well use this to... Uh, Destroy one card on the field. Yeah, let's do that. Remove my four counters. Destroy the card that wants everything else to be destroyed. Darn it. Yep. Battle. Uh. And in we go with the Incarnate. Now, we didn't get to see it here, but at the end of the turn, I would have been able to destroy my Synchro Monster, and it comes back with more protection effects, meaning more synergy to be found in this deck. So there it is. I felt like I felt like with this matchup, I was able. If this was a singular like versus, I feel like I could have, I could have like better handled the dinosaurs or Ubel by themselves. But since you had each other to counter to bounce off each other and say, okay, uh, Ubel's not working out. I'm gonna switch over to the dinosaurs, which you did, and it worked out fine. Uh, okay, yeah. dinosaurs wasn't enough to finish this. Let's let Ubel kind of like get him get him into like that sixth spot where he basically has to run into my monsters. Which it worked. So I felt like yeah, that I was... Yeah, I think in the early game, I brought out Ultimate Conductor. And I think you you just focused your gaze on that. Like, that's a big, scary problem. I got to deal with that. While forgetting that I had, like, half of you bell set up on the field. But, that's going to keep rolling. But I couldn't also ignore the Ultimate Conductor. Because if I would have let him live that turn, he could have easily flipped all my monsters face down defense mode. Oh, yeah, and then, good things. And then uh, would have ran over everything anyway. So either side was just, like... I can't, I can't just ignore one, I can't ignore one side, but I kind of have to because I can only get rid of so much. Yeah, I think they work because both sides of my deck are good. Most importantly, they're both so searchable. I can get a Samsara D Lotus and a Fossil Dig in my hand and start an entire combo with just those two cards. Because then, you know, Samsara starts the entire Ubel combo. Fossil Dig lets me search whatever dinosaur I want to start things off with. And there's a few different angles we can take. And we've seen a few different angles of how this can go. I didn't necessarily need them all, but, you know, this setup of a field is pretty insane. I think, um... I think my dinosaur that's on the field once he comes back can't be destroyed by card effect or something anyway, which means these two are, like, perfectly matched on the field. Um, obviously, tons of great cards that can get rid of them. You banished a few of my big threats, and if you had more ways to get rid of my threats, you would have probably been a winner here. But regardless, I think that was a pretty spicy wheel video, and there will be more spicy wheel videos to come. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like on us. Comment down below if you got any grand schemes of how we should spin wheels and make them randomize into things that will make us cry and get excited all at the same time. And we'll see you next time. See ya, folks.